boys, can you put the uh, the cans on? Oh, are we on? Are we on the radio? <laughs> oh wow! It's the world famous K Rock. Please welcome Dexter News from The Offspring. Hi. Hey. Well, thank you. <laughs> this is fun. I'm enjoying myself. Is, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Feeling cool right now. The sun has finally uh, gone down back here. Yeah. Yeah. The nice breeze kicked up. Awesome. So um, thanks, boys. So Cowboys again for you guys always show up and do an awesome job at K Rock show. So. Well, thank you. We really appreciate it. We and practiced a lot. I know. You, we you did must have been. This. You must disappeared for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of work to do. I know you did. I, I heard you on Kevin and B when you did the Cinco de Mayo thing. So uh, I know you've been in the studio working on uh, Rise and Fall, Rage and Grace. That's Is that right. correct? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's coming out a month from today. Yeah. Yeah. Very exciting. Do you guys get nervous when you release a new record now, or are you past that? You, you always uh, get a little anxious. You little know, it, we're, we are out here, we're talking about the record, nobody's heard it, and we're, we're dying for the fans to, to be able to get their, get a hold of it and wrap their ears around it. Right. You know? I was reading the lyrics to Hammerhead, which I've been enjoying playing, but I, I, you know, sometimes you hear a song and you enjoy it, and then you go and read the lyrics and you're like, what? You know, I was like, wow, this is There's really political. Twist. Holy yes. crap. Right, right. It's like a musical sixth sense. There's a little yeah. twist at the end. You it's don't see it coming. a good guy or a bad guy. I, d I didn't realize it was so heavy duty, the track. Oh, thank you. Very, uh, yeah, very, uh, can I say Scorsese? political? Oh, okay. Like, kind of, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's like Apocalypse Now. Like, really, that's what the track is, pretty that's much. Right. Yeah, sort of. You know, so. Oh, thank you. Um, so, uh, congratulations. It'll be out a month from today and you're also reissuing some earlier records on the same day right we remastered ignition and smash our, our records off of epitaph just kind of seemed like a, a good time to do that i mean now like you know technology is so much better right. and records just sound 10 times louder than they did when we first put it out so we thought let's remaster it and get it out again. time to catch up do you know right. when you went on your smash tour that was like one of the worst dates i ever went on ever really? at one of your shows our shows was yes. a bad date it was on the East Coast, and um, a guy had been dogging me to go out, and I finally said yes, and we went to your show. It was at Axis on Lansdowne Street in Boston, and um, not that I'm harboring any, <laughs> any problems. We, we don't want to be associated with bad memories. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, he abandoned me during your show, and I was like, screw you, I'm watching The Offspring, and that was, that was the night, so. Wow. All right. Well, it's going to be a good one tonight. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm working through it. See, now I'm sitting here with That's you. Right. Excellent. That's right. Let's talk about it. I was, I was nowhere near you guys then. And, and how did that make you feel, being yeah. abandoned? <laughs> how did you, yeah. <laughs> I felt lonely. We should yeah. change places. We should <laughs> yeah. sit in the chair. You should be on the Lay couch. Down. <laughs> we can help. You know, I actually, oh, wait, I have one more question I wanted to ask before, well, I have many more, but whatever. Um, I printed out your Wikipedia bio. Oh. Have you guys ever looked at this? Yeah. It's, uh, is it is it real? A lot of it's really wrong. Is it it's, real that a, de a decision to form a band came outside of a Social D concert when both were refused entry? Greg yeah. and Dexter. Yes, that is true. That's true. Yeah. All right. That just seemed like one of the little red flags, so I wanted to make sure that that was accurate. That was true. That was a show somewhere in Irvine, too, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Crawford Hall. I go Wikipedia. I know. It's very <laughs> sketchy, huh? Well, because I could go on there and be like, The Offspring did their show totally naked when you were on CBS. Right. And like, people believe if, it. If you say it in that, like, pseudo-journalistic way, it sounds like... We could say it on the radio and no one would really know because yeah, they can't right? see us. Hey, we look, might do that tonight. If it's in print, it's true, so... That's right. <laughs> Um, well, congratulations, you guys. And again, you know, thanks for playing our party. You, you know, you're a band, you're a staple here. And you're actually thanks. a perfect example of having a career in music and kind of doing what you want to do and, and that blind faith of going for it. Well, thank you for inviting us to your party. It is always a great party. It's, it's always thank fun you. here. We have a blast. Can we agree? So, come on. The Offspring, yeah. always showing That's up. Nice. Last question. Um, we were sitting there eating lunch, and, the, uh, of course, the Gringo Bandito was on the table. Oh, nice. And reading the ingredients, the um, mojo yes. in the ingredients. I actually put mojo in, in each bottle. <laughs> it's on the ingredients label. It's hard to get. How yeah, you, you how get do you it's expensive. You know. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever think you'll run out of the mojo? <laughs> Not as long as Oodles is around. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> all right, so we're just going to make sure that's all hooked up. Uh, <laughs> find it in your Albertson store. Anyway, uh, but thank you very much, and we look forward to the new record on the 17th of June. So, again. Yeah. It's very nice to have you well, here. Thanks a lot. Nice to meet you. Everybody, here, let's hear for the offspring. Yay! <laughs>